what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Folks, I'm adding a quick message at the beginning of this video before this video gets started. I'm, I've already recorded the video. I'm going back to add this message. Make sure you, you watch the whole video so you find out the issues that there is um, unlocking the akimbos. But also make sure you watch the end of the video because I'm going to give you some information regarding the last update we just had. I posted the video about problems I was having. Activision never, ever replied to me. And so I'm going to tell you um, how I fixed that problem and why you might want to uninstall your game and reinstall it. It might be a pain in the butt for you, but I'll explain it to you at the end of this video um, why you might want to do that. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate it. To give you a heads up, folks, this is going to be a long video, so I want to let you know up front, but you're going to want to watch the entire video, and... It just boggles my mind. We have yet more problems. You're going to see as we are working on unlocking the akimbo for these weapons, sometimes what we need to do just doesn't count. And it makes no sense because you, you can clearly see me do what I need to do, and the game does not give you credit for it. So we have to go and do it in another game because the one game I got multiple kills with the handgun, and none of them counted when you only need to get three in the game. It just boggles my mind. It, they apparently they do. It's it's so apparent. It's so apparent that they don't test the stuff. They just push it out. Just like we had the the broken update, and the only way they didn't respond. They wasn't responding to hardly anybody's pro tweets on the um, Activision support Twitter page, and it seemed like the ones they was supplying, they were saying send me a DM. If you guys notice a problem with something, why don't you put a message and pin it on your Twitter account so everybody knows and you don't get a million messages saying, hey, I can't play the game. But we'll talk about that some more here in a second. You're going to do this challenge. This challenge is working with your handguns. Make sure you attach the pistol ear mission slash um, challenge, however you want to look at it. Because you are going to be working on these, so you might as well go ahead and get these kills with the X-16. You have to get 25 kills with the X-16 in objective number one. And I'll show you all, all six of these objectives here. Objective number two, you have to get two kills in a single life with the 1911 ten times. And you can see your reward over there. we move on to our third objective. Get 30 kills using the 357 with three attachments. Now I'll tell you a strategy on, on the best way to use pistol ear here in a second. Our fourth objective is get 25 kills in domination using the M19. Again, right now you're going to want to do all this stuff in Rust because Rust has double XP running right now. It just makes a whole lot more sense. And our fifth objective is get 30 kills in ground war while using the 50 GS. And our last one is get two headshots with a pistol and a single life. And you can use any pistol for that to finish that off. And once you do that, this is what you're going to unlock. The handgun Echo. It's an epic blueprint. It's got a nickel plate finish on it, which I really like. The little video they do here doesn't do it any justice at all. Um, but this gun does look really nice. I like the scope on it. I like the, the printed detail on it. I mean, that, that just looks really, really nice. And here you can see I'm moving around and you can see how, how shiny it is. How it, it just look, It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, weaponry there. And that'd be a really nice gun to have in real life. It really would. Yeah, that video they did just did it no justice. You have to go and, and take a look at that yourself. But again, don't forget to activate Pistol Ear so you will get credit when you're using the X-16. Here's what you're going to want to do. Your f pick five classes. I did the first five classes of mine. Make sure you have the uh, pistol as a secondary, and each one of those classes have a different pistol. That way you can just, you know, you get your three kills, you get credit for it, you move on to the next one. That's how you can get all five of these done in one game. 
when it works. It does work one time, folks. It does work one time. If we get down to the combo, there under says unlock criteria. It says get three kills in five different games with full metal jacket perk attached. You have to have that attached for the 50 or it will not count. We will move on over to our next one. And you're going to see for the 1911, we have to have the Mo Money attached. And also, if you look at the last one, you look at this one here, it says 2 of 5. Because I started recording this video, then I had to hiccup in the second game. So I just went ahead and got, got two kills for all the guns. Hopefully, I wouldn't have it later on. But as you're going to see, we do. Now we move on to the next one. This is the 357. Then we go down. And for this one here, we have to have the Recon perk equipped. So again... If you do not have this equipped, it will not work. So we're going to move on to our next one. Go down to perk. And you can see here, for the M19, we have to have the frangible wounding. I guess that's how you pronounce that. Selected. Again, I, say, I repeat myself. If you don't have it selected, it will not work. You have to have the selected... The, they have credit and that's why at first when I didn't get credit for it I thought I didn't have it selected but I knew I did because I got credit for the first game now we move on to our last one this is the X16 and it's by far I think this is you know, I like I love this gun so much especially when it comes to chemos I think the 357 is probably the worst chemos but I'll show you gameplay of all of them at the end of the video and you can make your own decision but for me the X16 when it comes to a chemo it is so good and actually I end up getting the uh, play of the game with it okay. there's one here's two now we get, need to get one more now go down and take a look if you can check it go down to perk go into the Kimbo. now you're looking for three or five you can see three or five down there so go ahead and switch over to your next class there's one there's two there's three. Take a look at it. Make sure you got credit for it. And it takes a while for this one to come up. Why? I don't know. But once I die, if you notice, when I die in the background, it comes up. It makes no sense to me. But you can see three or five for that one. So we'll go ahead and move on to the pistol class. 357. There's one. There's two. Catch this guy right here. Three. Finish this off really fast. Take a look at this one here. And you go down and take a look and you see three of five. I'm, now I'm still alive on this one and it showed up. Again, I don't understand why. You want to try next class? There's one. There's two. I really do not like these sights. And there's three. That's one thing 357 has going for it. It's got that nice scope on it. And look at this one here. It says two of five. You see me get the three kills and it did not count. And if you're watching this video, it, just so you know, see I just got a kill. I went and checked again to see, okay, maybe I miscounted. There's sleight of hand. It's still two of five. And I think I let I leave it in here or not, but you can see the camos that I got. So you know I got it. So I went ahead and moved on to the next one. So there's there's one, there's two. There's three. So I'm gonna lay down, take a look, and you can see this one did not count either. Two of five. Why? I have absolutely no clue. But I promise you, you will see that I did get uh, a game where every one of these guns counted. So you can do this strategy. You can see there's three or five on that one there. Again, you see a clear hand, slide of hand, selected like I'm supposed to. You know, why the 1911 didn't work and why the 50 didn't work, I have absolutely no clue. Let's go ahead and move on to the M19. Actually, 357. And you can see you got three or five there. next one we got two of five now I'm gonna show you in the next game that all five of these count in the same game 
Here's the first one. Go down. Enemy UAV overhead. And you can see right there, the 1911 is now at 3 of 5. So we're going to move on to the 50 again. Put the thermite on, a grenade, whatever you want to use. Whatever uh, lethal you want, put it down so you can eliminate yourself if you don't get shot. And you can switch classes. Wasn't sure if I got that one or not, so I lay down, then I see my name up on the side of the screen. So then I move up, go check it out to make sure, and that one is 3 of 5. So now we got a 3 of 5 for the two that we didn't have. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the top. And this is the X16. So again, I'm going to show you that all five, you can't get all five of these done in one game. But for whatever reason, you know, the 1911 and the 50 didn't count in that one game. Now take a look and you can see this says 4 of 5 now. Again, it doesn't come up right away. As soon as I die, then it comes up. It makes no sense. Sometimes when you look, it comes up right away. Go ahead and move on to our next one. This is the M19. four of five so we've got one more to go and why I had any problems in the last game I don't know it happened to me twice I was trying to do this to make this video you're gonna take a look at it and you'll see this one says four of five so you just see me do all five of them in one game which shows you it can be done so again we're gonna take a look at it you see the M19 or the X16 is at 4 or 5. The uh, M19 is at 4 or 5. The 357 is at 4 or 5. And then uh, we got the 1911s at 3 or 5. And then again, the 50 is at 3 or 5 as well. So let's see if I add this. Yeah, I think I did. I'm going to go and get. The 1911 and the 50 done, so they're all four or five, in the hopes that you know I'll be able to finish all these in one game. You go down, you see that says four or five now. I need one more, I think it is. Yep. Go down, take a look at it, and you'll see this one is now at four or five. So now all of the handguns are at four or five. So we should have no problem completing these. Just so you can see it really well, you see the 1911 is 4 or 5 now. And you're going to see the 50 is also at 4 or 5. So all of our handguns are at 4 or 5. So here we go. Go ahead and take this one here. Now you'll, you'll know right away if it's done because under perks you're going to see the, the green square next to a Kembo. So you'll, you'll know right away if it's done or not. Absolutely hate these scopes on these guns. Go down again. You see, you can already see the green square. With green square, excuse me. Again, here's the 357. Go down. You see, Perks has a green square, so you know the Kimbo is done. Go ahead and move, down, move to the next one. You need a two to finish that off. And what you don't see is the green square so again folks it says four or five it did not count makes absolutely no sense i'm not going to show you me doing the other gun because we already know it's not going to count as well so i'll go ahead and play the rest of this game out here's the rewards at the end of the game you see i unlocked brains and you see there's the akimbo See, all my camo attachments are unlocked except for the last two. Again, it just makes absolutely no sense, folks. No sense whatsoever. Go we'll take a look. Again, you see four of five still for the 1911. And again, for the 50, still four of five. And you can see this here is finished. Here's the green square. Here's a green square. 
for that one. And this one here we already attached. So let's go ahead and get these last two done. Go check. And we're going to see we've got the green square now. Perks green square. Don't get it, folks. I just do not get it. This game is just so broken. Absolutely broken. And look at the last one. And now we are going to have all of our combos done. So now I'll put gameplay in of all the combos. This thing is just nasty. This is the M19. That was the X16 you saw a second ago. Here's the 357. I do not like the 357. It just doesn't feel doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like a camo. You get a lot more movement. I'm guessing because it's not a revolt because the uh, other ones are not revolvers. This one is. Now we got the 1911. I'd say probably my number one, number two handguns would be the X-16 and the 50. So finish that 50 off, and I'm gonna switch over to the X-16 again and just watch, watch this, folks. This is just crazy. I get right into these people's spawn, and this is actually the kill cam of the game. It also seems you can move a lot faster with the X-16 as opposed to the 357. It might just be me. And here is the play of the game. That's how you want to finish off earning your akimbos for all of your handguns. Earned here. They flash that so fast it's hard to see. It just says 19,000 there. And there's the Akimbo for the 1911 and the Akimbo for the 50. So I hope that helped you out, folks, to show you how to unlock each and every one of your Akimbos. Again, if you have this problem, just go into the next game. There's no, there's no solution for it. If you're not getting credit for it in the game, and you can also see we finished off the. Uh, Pistolier Objective 1, and there's a sticker for that. Again, here's everything I unlocked in that game. But there's no fix for it if it's not counting and it's not going to count. So either quit the game and go out or finish your game off and, and go for it in another game. Uh, is it because I ran, I did all five at one time? I don't think so. Because out of each five that you had to do, I had two complete games where I was able to do all five of them in one game. So, again, you can see there that the sticker is done for Pistolier. So make sure you attach that. You might as well, if you're working on the pistols, you might as well go ahead and get credit for it. And when you go through and you do all five of the pistols, go ahead and switch back to the X-16 and work on this objective, especially if there's double XP running as there is right now. Um, if it will still be on when I upload this video or not, I'm not for sure. But when I record this video, there was double XP running for Valentine's Day weekend. I'm going to go back and add a message to the beginning of this video um, to bring you up to this part of the video. Folks, when we had the last update that apparently when they I guess supposedly released Warzone, I haven't even checked it out if it's even alive. I was, I'm still furious about um, how that went down because I sent multiple pictures and everything and I tweeted them I went and created a ticket and never heard from Activision whatsoever and if they replied to the ticket I can't know, I can't tell because I no longer can go look at my current tickets they've changed the website so um, as of the time I'm recording this video I have yet to hear about them probably because I said thanks for nothing um, I found out how to fix the problem myself and what I basically had to do was I had to uninstall everything of the game and reinstall it. Now here's what the important information to folks. When I uninstalled the game, I was at 147, I think it was 0.2 gigabytes for Modern Warfare. 
when I deleted everything and reinstalled everything fresh after re reinstalling everything fresh I was at 144.7 gigabytes over 3 gigabytes of either bad files or trash unneeded files was on my hard drive 3 gigabytes now yeah, you know, I've got an external hard drive. I've got. I, I don't really even use the hard drive in the game itself, in the console itself. I put the stuff on the external hard drive. But you got people that are limit, limited to a small disk space. You got a console that's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive in it. Modern Warfare alone is taking up 145 gigabytes of that. I mean, so you really might want to consider, you know, sometime when you're not playing the game and you're not going to be playing it for a while, go ahead and uninstall everything. You're not going to lose nothing, okay? You will not lose. You see in this video, I did it before I recorded this video. So I didn't lose anything. Because when you log into your Call of Duty account, everything is stored on their servers. So I would personally really consider uninstalling uh, Modern Warfare everything all the DLC packs completely uninstall the game and then reinstall a fresh copy and if you do please leave a comment in the bottom of this video let me know what your file size was before you uninstalled it then what your file size is after you, you reinstall the game I'm really really curious that you know if I was the only one, because I've had so many problems this year, I, I could post messages on this video, but I won't, uh, of, tw of tweets I've had with Activision, where so far this year, almost a dozen times, I've had to clear the catch uh, on my console, and I kid you not, because the game would not work properly, and I know that's one of the big things they say to do, is clear your catch first, and... What boggles my mind is, you know, I play Ghost Recon, Fortnite. Fortnite's basically just like uh, Call of Duty. There's constant updates for it and everything like that. I never have to clear my cache for Fortnite. Ghost Recon, other games that I play, I never have to clear my cache for those games. The only game I ever have to clear my cache for is Modern Warfare slash a Call of Duty title. And I even made a comment to them. And actually, here, hold on a second. I will show you this picture. Okay, here's that tweet. And I, and I sent to them. I said, how about stop putting corrupted data on my console? This will be the seventh time I will have to do this. And remember, I told you I've already done this over a dozen times now. And that seven was on December 27th. And we're in February now. And they come back with, sorry that you feel that way. Let us know if this corrects the issue. And I said, yes, it's corrected. And I forgot to put the quotations. The issue, the reason I feel this way is your game is the only game I have to do this with. It is a pain and you know what to do this. My power brick is behind my desk, strapped to the back of my desk. So it is not just an unplug issue. I have to pull out my desk to do it. And they, but they want to come back with, sorry that you feel this way. Just stop putting bad files on people's consoles. There for a while, I forget which update it was. It might have been the, not this past one, but the one before. I think it was the one before that. that it was crashing people's PS4s. It was, and I was, Review Tech USA, I think I was watching his video. And he actually said that somebody had contacted him. Because after he downloaded the Call of Duty update, that his power or his PlayStation would no longer turn back on. And the only thing that this person did was download the update. And after he downloaded the update, it wasn't working properly. Turned his, his PlayStation off, I'm guessing. And then it wouldn't turn back on. It was, it was breaking people's consoles I mean it is insane and they they want to take no fault at this whatsoever the issue we just had where 
you would get stuck in an endless loop. You would download the update. Then when you go to start the game, it says you got to download content. Or you download the content, then you go into the game and you download the update. Then you get stuck in an endless loop. Or maybe it's just downloaded update, I can't remember. There's so many problems, I'm losing track of them. I'm literally losing track of them. But you would download it, the game would go to start and said it's time to update or something, and you have to download it again. And the game would start back up. And you think you're getting in there, and all of a sudden, boom, it says downloading content. And as soon as you see the downloading content, you knew you were, you was messed up. But, you know, instead of replying to all these people's messages on Twitter, just pin a damn post on your Twitter page to say, we know this is the problem, try these steps. If they don't work, then send us a message. You'll get a hell of a lot less messages if you do that because you're telling people what to do. Instead of telling every person, the few people you do reply to, that, you know, on how to fix the problem. Like I said, there might have been a solution to fixing the problem, but you didn't know it, so that's the reason why I decided to uninstall the game and reinstall it. And I'm thankful I did because I saved myself over three gigs of disk space and got rid of a lot of bad files, probably, in the process. So keep that in mind, folks. Might want to do a fresh uninstall and reinstall the game. If for nothing else, do it so you can get rid of any trash files that you don't need. I mean, because we're constantly getting all these these downloads. I mean, every time, I think the one time it was like 90 some odd gigs, and this last one was like 68 gigs, you know. And the game itself, I think, was like 50 or 60 gigs before I think all the content. I like, don't hold me to that. I can't remember. It was so long ago. Because, like, the last time. I knew it was going to take a while, even with my good internet speed, I knew it was going to take a while. But instead of me taking and sitting there and watching it, I just took and set it to install. Then I just turn, turned my monitor off on my desk and let it do its thing. Because it had, you know, the map packs to install, the multiplayer pack, the spec ops pack, the game. Uh, five or six, maybe seven different things it had to install. Well, Again, didn't mean to go on to a rant, but I wanted to let you know about this because it would not surprise me if you install your game and you reinstall it. You're going to find yourself saving, like I said, 3 gigs for me. And for somebody that's got a 500 gig console, that free 3 gigs that you can free up, that apparently it's not needed because if it was needed, when you reinstall the game, you'd be right back at what you was before. So, um, again, go ahead and get, get rid of bad files and files that's not needed. Uh, I'm, I'm blabbering now. I apologize, but it just I, it really, really boggles my mind on why people spend all this money on all these outfits and everything when the developer cannot even get their game correct. They can't release anything. I mean, have we actually had an update this season where there wasn't a problem with it? I'm not really for sure. I'm really not for sure. The one time we had an update, uh, again, I got, I got messages about that. Actually, it was probably back there in December. I think that update was where when you download the update, the system wasn't putting you on the regular server. It was putting you with a small group of people, and it would take an hour to three hours to find a game. And the way I knew that is because I left my Elgato recording, so that's why I knew how long it took to find a game. They came out two days later saying that. Again, all these people messaging them. I got messages from people I was playing with. They said they had the same problems and sent them to them in a tweet, in a, in a direct message. And they never once posted anything on their page about having a problem. Shaking my head. Again, that's stuff like that is the reason why I refuse to spend money on this game. The cop points I have now I got free from Black Ops 4. If you keep spending money on the game, all you are doing is rewarding bad behavior, and I absolutely refuse to do that. Again, sorry for the rant, but again, I think that's important information that uh, for those of you who are watching this part of the video, I thank you. If you made it to the video, made it to this part of the video, do me a favor. 
down below. Let's see what can we put down there. Uh, down below, comment fix your game. If you comment fix your game, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Thank you for giving me your time. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on. And I'm out of here.